Hey everybody, so I thought it would be fun if I did a very minimal and very natural beauty routine, I guess. Um, I pretty much do it every day and I guess I'm not a huge makeup wearer so I figured this would be kind of fun to show you what I do every day with my makeup. So I have a few products that I'm going to use. I'll show you each of them when I use them, so stay tuned. So the two products that I use are the SOS, let's see, there we go, the SOS Beauty Primer in Radiance Boosting, and then the same one in the Redness Diminisher. So I'm actually going to use both of them, but first I'm going to do the Radiance Boosting, and I like this one just because it gives you a little bit of a glow throughout your whole face. I'll put that in like the T-zone, and then on my cheeks, and on the tip of my nose, and right, right on my lip. I have a little bit of redness on my cheeks right here. Some of them are from like old acne spots and then some of them are just from um, a little bit of rosacea I have. So this is really helpful for that reason. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use a little bit of that and I actually like it because it's not too opaque but it's just enough to cover the red. And the next thing that I'm gonna go in with once I finish with this is a uh, concealer but I like to use it as a foundation so I don't use it all over, so that gives it a very natural finish and that way my skin can breathe a little bit. Okay, so that is finished. As you can tell, it really doesn't leave that much of a green tint behind, but it definitely counteracts the red, so very nice. So next I'm going to be using the Instant Concealer, also by Clarins, and this is actually one of my favorites, I think I've pretty much ever used. It's a very lightweight, but it covers super well, and I actually got a shade darker than what I usually would do in concealer because, like I said, I kind of wanted to use it as a foundation. So I'm going to go right over my spots and all the areas that I put the redness diminisher. So like I said, I just put it on top of all the red spots and also all the spots that I use the SOS primer on. A little bit more. I also like this squeeze bottle. I don't feel like I'm wasting product when I use that. Okay. So there's that. Literally my base. Pretty much what I use for the entire face on days that I don't want to use a lot of makeup or any makeup, um, which is pretty much ever. So there is that. And then I am actually now going to go in with the Lip Comfort Oil. I love it because it shows like it's this red, but it's actually not. It's a very um, iridescent color. So I'm going to use this one today, and you can actually use this on your lids, your cheeks, your lips, anything. So I'm going to put it on my lips, and I love that applicator, actually. You can see that. It's very big. I like it. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to put a little bit on my eyes. Okay, and I love this because it's not too thick. And this is perfect, and it just kind of like gives you like an overall glossy sheen, but it's also sparkly, so... Okay, so this is almost the finished look. I am going to finish almost with the Clarins Fix Makeup. And this is basically just a setting spray. It smells like grapefruit and rose, if I had to guess. So I'm just gonna spray that. Definitely rose. Okay, so now that I'm almost done, the very last thing I'm going to use is the Super Volume Mascara by Clarins, and I actually wanted to do this very last because if I did that and then the setting spray, it would have made things a little bit messy, so I'm going to go and do that right now. One of the reasons why I love this mascara also is that it's uh, enriched with cassie flower wax in panthenol, which visibly sort of thickens, smooths, and overall helps protect your lashes on top of it just being a mascara. All right, so this is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you later.